All manufacturers are moving to 16-inch gaming laptops, and Dell can't miss getting in on the fun with their new G16 gaming laptop. Everything about it is new, from the displays to the Raptor Lake HX processors. Stay with us to learn everything you might need to know about it. Starting on the outside, there are some small changes to the exterior, but overall you still get a bulky chassis with a weight of 2.87 kg and a profile of 20.2 mm at the front and 24.9 mm at the back which is portable for gaming standards. The lid and base are made from metal, while the heat vent covers the back and the bottom panel uses plastic. Nevertheless, the build quality is great as the base shows next to no budge even with harsher typing and type you will as the single zone RGB backlit keyboard has everything needed to be great like long key travel and clicky feedback. It lacks a numpad but unless you're an accountant it's not as important. The touchpad is on the smaller side while the surface could have been smoother too. On the other hand it's pretty responsive. We also can't forget to mention the huge grill above which supplies air to the cooling setup. Taking a look around the Dell G16, the left side has a LAN port and an audio jack. Then on the back, there's the power plug, one USB Type-A 3.2 generation 1 port, an HDMI 2.1 port, and a USB Type-C 3.2 generation 2 port, which is actually a Thunderbolt 4 port for the configurations equipped with an RTX 4070. Lastly, on the right, there are two more USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 ports. With the G16, you get a new and improved 16-inch 16x10 QHD plus IPS panel with a 165Hz refresh rate. It's got great viewing angles and a max brightness of 361 nits. The pixel response time of the display is good too, as at 8.6 milliseconds, it's way faster than any budget gaming machine. It also shows 97% sRGB coverage, so games, movies and other media look their best. The color accuracy is there as well, especially once you use our design and gaming profile, which lowers the Delta E value down to 1.1. As a heads up, everything below 2 is considered accurate enough for professional use. We'll have links to our profiles in the description below. While the display is all well and good, the speaker setup could be better. The quality of the sound is okay, however. There are deviations across the entire frequency range. There are several 13th generation Intel processors to choose from, with our configuration using the Core 1713650 hx For graphics, there's both the RTX 3050 as well as the new 40 series which runs at 140 watts. The CPU performance is good, but when we put the device against competitors, we see that it sits at the bottom of the barrel in 3D rendering. As for the graphics, the 140 watts RTX 4060 does pretty much the same as any other 4060 that we've played with. More importantly, let's check out some games. The most recent title in the Assassin's Creed series, Valhalla runs at 106 FPS on the Ultra preset. Another Viking adventure, the 2018 installment of God of War released for PC last year and the RTX 4060 is able to run it at 86 FPS on ultra settings. Lastly, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is still a mainstay even in 2023, running at 107 FPS on the highest preset.
¡Ey! ¡Cuidado, niños! For more benchmark videos of the RTX 4060, check out our Laptop Media Benchmarks channel. The cooling setup of the G16 comes with four heat pipes, which are thick and provide enough thermal capacity. With the additional heat sinks and fans, the laptop is able to exceed expectations, pushing its core Y7 CPU to 191 watts in the first few seconds of our stress test, lowering it to 136 watts for prolonged strenuous work. The story with the RTX 4060 is similar, as the laptop is able to push it to very high power limits. However, the clock speeds are lower than other laptops with the same GPU. In terms of comfort, the keyboard heats up to 41 degrees Celsius under full load. However, the grill that's on top can reach higher temperatures of nearly 50 degrees Celsius. The efficiency of the laptop is put under question as the G16 lasts for only 3 hours and 12 minutes of web browsing or 3 hours and 29 minutes of video playback, despite the large 86 watt hours battery pack. The upgradability of the laptop is thorough, with two SODIMM slots for DDR5 memory and two M.2 PCIe X4 slots for Generation 4 SSDs. Keep in mind that one slot is smaller, so you'd have to get one of the smaller 30mm SSDs. The full teardown video is linked down below and in the pop-up card right here. The Dell G-Series has never shied away from sacrificing portability and efficiency for performance, However, the G16 goes a step further. On the other hand, the high power limits that it manages to sustain don't really help it when it comes to results, as other laptops with the same components do a similar if not better job while being more efficient. Still, if you plan on being plugged into a wall for most of the time and can get a good deal on the G16, by all means, go and get it as it covers all the requirements for a gamer, a video editor or a designer. And if you want to see more tests and details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.